Conor McGregor uh, retired. Everybody's saying that he's retired. He's saying that he's retired. And people are are shocked by this, but, you know, they really shouldn't be because it's not shocking at all because, you know, most of these guys that are stars in the in, in MMA, you know, they need they need to make money and they they most people fight way past their, their prime and uh and they're nothing. They're nothing on their own. There there have been exceptions. The the one the one main exception is Fedor Emelianenko. I mean Fedor you know, how long has it been since he fought in Pride when he was the actual champion? And after that, I mean, he had good fights after he left Pride, but, uh, you know, he never came to the UFC because he didn't have to. I mean, he was making way more money, um, you know, just taking fights like, you know, when he went to Affliction and, and uh, he has options. And the same thing with Conor McGregor. Connor says he's retired, but probably what will happen is some organization will put on a fight and he'll show up. You know, like Fedor doing these, you know, uh, these fights he's doing now in Risen. I mean, that's probably going to happen with Connor. They'll just make a fight for him and he'll show up and he'll make a million dollars. And people are going to show up and watch because it's Connor McGregor. And as pathetic as that is, I don't get anything from that. I don't get anything from watching Connor, um, you know, fight fight somebody that's at a, a much lower skill level. I mean, if anything, I kind of root for the other guy. I was kind of rooting for the other guys, uh, you know, throw a haymaker, maybe knock Fedor out, just because, you know, they're paying somebody just to be a bum, just to go in there and get knocked out. And I personally, I, I think that's wrong. I don't think two people should fight that are at completely different skill levels. I mean, it's immoral. I mean, you could, you literally could kill the guy. Um, like when Fedor knocked out Pedro Izzo. I mean, Pedro Izzo is a real fighter and, and was a real fighter. But, you know, he's old. He's, he's, he's retired. I mean, he's a you know, older guy, you know. I mean, Fedor could have literally killed the guy, and uh, and I mean, literally knocked him unconscious. And uh, and actually, when Fedor fought Ishii, I think that he suffered some type of a concussion or something, you know, really severe. And uh, and Ishii's a good fighter, but you know, still it's a mismatch, and I don't like to see that. But that's probably what they'll do with Conor McGregor. I mean, he literally. Conor McGregor could just show up. They could have some fight. He could just be fighting anybody. He could even be like some freak show clown fight that's rigged. And he's going to make a bunch of money because people are going to want to watch it. He's literally that big of a star that he does not need the UFC. He doesn't. He doesn't. Um, that's rare. That's rare. But it's not surprising to see that... Uh, that uh, he, that he would retire and, you know, he, he making comments to people wanting interviews and things. And if he's on his own, he's independent, he can do whatever he wants. Because that's the thing with the UFC. Anybody that's ever worked for, like, a, a corporation, I have. I've worked for Corporate America. I've also worked for smaller, you know, uh, people that own their own businesses and whatnot, but I've worked for corporate America when I was a personal trainer, you know, and working for these co corporations, man, you, you feel smothered, you feel smothered. You can you, you, you can't, you have to dress what they, how they want you to dress. You have to behave how they want you to behave. Um, and you know, they have a, a mission statement and you have to be the model employee. And, and I, the UFC is kind of like that. It just seems like they're like real smothering. And surprisingly, though, they let all the fighters swear. The fighters are always saying the F word, which I just thought was so bizarre. Like, they have a code of conduct and everything. Like, you can't smoke marijuana, but you can, you can say the F word all you want. I always thought that was strange. Um, or they have a code of conduct. But then Dana White is, has a really foul mouth. I... 
In other words, a code of conduct, you know, so you appeal to, like, so a family could watch or, you know what I mean? But then they're all they're all using profanity. It's just it's really bizarre. The UFC pretty much sucks. Everybody knows that. Uh, it's 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 kind of a shame to see that they've kind of swallowed MMA, at least a... Uh, you know, I'm just such a fan of the sport that I watch it. But um, unfortunately, that's it for Connor. I mean, we'll probably never see him in a real fight again. Uh, it's possible that they could put one together, but it's it's not going to be like this has been. I mean, he literally was the real legitimate UFC champ, 145. I mean, knocks out uh, Jose Aldo, Jose Aldo. But, you know, beats all the guys leading up to it. I mean, literally works his way up the ladder and knocks him out. I mean, just unbelievable. Um, you know, it's a shame. He could have just retired then. I, it really doesn't make any difference him losing to Nate. Um, but basically, he, he is worth more. Uh, he doesn't have to do what the UFC uh, tells him to do. He can go off and do whatever he wants. Because he's uh, he's that big of a star. And I'll see you guys later.